This is the dynamic glute bridge. This is going to either be body weight or it's going to be weighted. For the body weight addition, all you wanna do is you wanna have your upper body plastered to the floor. You wanna keep your upper back really pushed in tight to the floor and you wanna keep your feet nice and flat. Now, I've said this before, you can lift the front of your foot if that helps you to focus on your hamstring, which is the back of your thigh, to your glute connection. All right. Again, I'm going to also basically put some awareness on this. Do not hyperextend. So you're not coming up so high as to feel your low back. If you feel your low back, go slightly under that point and just put more mind to muscle connection in to your glute. So Jen, she's going to demonstrate. She's literally at a shoulder width distance for her heels apart. Okay. And you see how that looks from the top. And all she's doing, breathing however she wants, she wants to inhale or exhale up, flex that glute mightily, and then Jen, touch the bottom of your glute on the side that I'm filming, there you go. That is going to bring sensory to the glute. If you're one person who just cannot feel your glutes or you're one person who always feels your low back or you always feel your hamstring, sensory stuff like touching the muscle being worked, it's actually what brings the mind to muscle connection to the working muscle. If you cannot feel the working muscle, you are not working the muscle. So you have to take time with your repetitions. Notice how Jen is not flying through this. She could if she could actually still feel it, but most people will have to go at this pace so they don't ruin their mind to muscle connection.